Hey everybody and welcome to Eliminate Games. Yep, it's your boy Rocky again with another goddamn fucking dirty bomb video. Yep, but this time, you know what? I'm bringing you Rhino. Rhino. Fucking Rhino. Rhino, Rhino, Rhino. Alright, let's get the fucking basics out the way right away. We got 200 health, which is the most out of any character in Dirty Bomb. It is significant, you know, amount of health that you get. Um, but you also have the slowest speed. Uh, 360 speed. Um... The only ability this character has is the minigun, and I don't think it needs any other ability. I mean, it's it's already pretty... It's not overpowered, but people just don't know how to counter it well. Um, Because that minigun does have unlimited ammo, which is pretty good to use. Uh, the standard loadout for this um, merc is the Arnold 12, which is a fucking shotgun. Uh, all, the, all the weapons, the primary weapon for this character is a shotgun. Uh, the secondary is a Smith and Wesson, which is, um, I believe, a knockoff of the Smith and Wesson uh, 40, which is a revolver, and also the Beck Hill combat knife as the melee weapon, which is um, pretty pretty redundant because if they're close to you, you just fucking spam them with the minigun. Well, anyway, so this minigun, what it does is, uh, let, let me explain how the minigun works, because a lot of people have questions as to how the minigun specifically works. So there is no ammo. Uh, uh, your cooldown is literally so. So when you use it, it overheats if you use it too much, and then your cooldown is literally how long it takes to cool. So you don't have a set timer. Um, one of the main things I do is I make sure I don't overheat all the way. Because if you overheat all the way, then the character uh, cooldown for the minigun you have to wait for it to go all the way back down to zero. Um, but if you stop the minigun like a millisecond before and you don't allow it to overheat all the way and it begins to cool down you can then use the minigun again even even before it's done cooling down um you do have to wait you know a tiny little bit for your minigun to spin before it starts firing so you do have to take that into consideration uh while you have the minigun out there's no aiming like you, you kind of free aim there is a there's a crosshair on the screen but it is you know hip fire as anyone would expect uh you don't you don't really have sights um, and so holding down the aim button when you're playing in the game when you got the minigun allows you to spin the barrel so you can be prepared but you're not allowed to sprint while holding uh, the while spinning the barrels you're not allowed to sprint so I mean that's a good little balance right there so um, I mean these videos I got in here I thought I was doing pretty fucking good with the Rhino I know there's people out there who could do a lot better but I I mean, I threw three games together that I did almost simul like one after another, and I was just fucking wrecking them. I don't know how much of the actual gameplay I'm going to be able to fit into this video, but what I show, I hope, is the best for you guys. Now, I'm going to go down to what I use in my card, which, um, it comes with the Remberg 7, which is another shotgun. I love that shotgun on this character. Um, again, that Smith & Wesson knockoff, uh, the 40, and, uh, the card I use also has the Cricket Bat. Uh, the three abilities it has on mine is the Nitros, which is the only card, you know, the only loadout card that Rhino has that has this ability, which is a 50% increase to barrel acceleration. Now, I've been looking all over the internet trying to figure out what that means in terms of the actual weapon, if it's like the spin time before firing, um, if it's when you're actually firing, how many rounds per minute you could put out. And I haven't found anything, but... I do notice that when I go 1v1 against other Rhinos, uh, 8 times out of 10, even if we're both at starting health and we don't hit any headshots, I win. Now, I don't know why that is, but I'm um, assuming it has to do with the Nitros and not my skill. Uh, the second ability that it has is Cool. That's what it's called. Uh, increases the time it takes mounted MGs to overheat by 50%. Now, I don't really care about that ability because I have a machine gun in my fucking, you know, in my hand, but if I were ever to use a mounted MG, I guess that would fucking come in handy. I have a portable MG. Why the fuck would I use that? Um, and the final ability is Unshakable, which reduces the damage you take from explosives by 20%. That comes in so much handy, because when people see you as the Rhino, the first thing they're gonna fucking do is spam the shit out of you, because they want you dead as quickly as possible. Because if they don't concentrate on you, you can most definitely eliminate an entire team. If you come up from behind them, um, and nobody like tells anyone else on their team where you are, you can definitely take out at least three of them before they even realize what the fuck is happening. 
Uh, the biggest drawback to this character is probably the speed. Oh my god, this guy is so fucking slow, dude. Uh, even even with the fucking uh, melee weapon out, this guy is still slow. It's the slowest character in the game. Uh, running away from combat, not an option. Definitely not an option. Uh, any character will just chase you down and gun you down and fucking kill you. Um, so, but, I mean, having so much health comes in handy. One of the things that people don't realize is that this whole character is armored. So, you know, dealing damage to the body, I feel, is not as effective as just shooting for the head. This character is definitely one of those characters that you definitely, definitely, definitely just want to shoot straight in the head, eliminate as quickly as possible. So that's one thing you need to watch out for when you're playing as this character. Is players who can aim very well at the head. I've noticed that um, this character is prone to dying from headshots from uh, fully automatic weapons because, like, that last bit you know just it'll just pop you in the head and it'll deal so much amount of massive damage that it'll just fuck get you uh so let's get into the actual um i mean what what, what is there much else to say you probably want to know um when you're using the mini gun the recoil so there isn't a lot of recoil it just increases spread dramatically i mean the mini gun in your hands isn't really moving around that much it kind of just stays still on the screen and spins and shoots and you do put out a lot of fucking rounds downrange. I mean, it is a minigun. It does have unlimited ammo. You just gotta wait for it to cool down. And I really, I don't like using, you know, his primary or even his secondary weapon. I, I think um, it's kind of redundant when you have unlimited ammo right there. Why use a, a finite amount of ammo? Uh, it does come in handy to have those weapons there. I think the character would have been just fine with just the minigun as the primary and maybe a secondary weapon and a melee. But. I mean, they decided to give him a primary as well, and they gave him the shotgun, which is very, very, very well balanced in my opinion. I had to give him a long range weapon, like an assault rifle. Even this game, assault rifles and submachine guns can go a very long distance. Uh, it's very, there's not a lot of recoil in this game, so shooting far and shooting down rage can be easy at times. There's, there's certain, certain positions where you just, oh, you're just not going to get those hits because people are such well positioned. Um, with this character, you probably want to hold down alleyways and doorways and really, really tight bottlenecks because anyone coming through there is just going to get fucking, like, just dumped on with, you know, so many bullets just get dropped immediately. immediately. Uh, overall, this is, I think, one of the best characters in the game, one of the most overpowered. Uh, I don't think it needs to be balanced. I think the rest of the players in the community need to know. Uh, use your skill and go for a headshot. You can drop a rhino very easily or come up from behind. Uh, another key thing is since this character is so slow when he has the minigun out, if you manage to get you know, within melee range, it is definitely advisable to try to get behind him and melee them. Um, most characters won't have the skill to turn around. Uh, I know several times I've had characters just come up on me, uh, I'll be at full health, and they hit me three four times with the melee, and I just I just can't turn around fast enough to fucking kill him. Or, it's, I mean, there's, there's no point in running. There really is not any point in running with this character. You cannot run. Uh, being such a large health character, you're definitely playing a tank, as you would expect, so you do want to be at the front line. Uh, if your team does not have a medic, I strongly advise you to tell your team, um, hey, can someone go medic to cover me? If no one wants to go medic, um, playing this character can be very difficult. He's slow. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of accuracy. I mean, he's using shotguns and miniguns. That's that's not very accurate. Um, but the minigun can go a long distance. Uh, burst firing is so useful. So, so, so useful. Uh, also, eliminating, eliminating turrets from bushwhackers, uh, health stations from auras. Uh, you know, those are so easily taken out with the minigun because you're putting out so much damage and you kind of just have to aim in a, in a single area. Uh, the main thing to take away from this character is you're slow, so be careful. And burst firing the minigun is fucking amazing. You can drop so many people. Even when they're close to you, burst firing is still significantly better. Uh, if there's a shit ton of people, you know, you could just hold that trigger down and, you know, put a thousand rounds out and hope to kill fucking someone. Uh, and I think that's it. I hope you guys like this gameplay. I think I'm just gonna let the gameplay run a little bit longer than the commentary Because I really like the com the the gameplay that I had these two games I don't I don't know if I can fit the video in the commentary because I'm recording these separately. I already have the videos ready 
Uh, I just have to edit them, cut out the fucking loading screens, all that, the boring shit, the shit you guys don't want to see. Uh, and then this commentary is going to go over it. But if you like this, if you like this video, you know, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment, all that bullshit. Tweet it to your friends. Uh, hashtag four square it. Um, I'm, I mean, I don't know what the fuck you guys do. I don't know who fucking watches this. But if you are watching, please share. Please, please share. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time. Later. Mission accomplished, but you made that look hard work.